then when I got to die, I just done everything what the instructions said, and then a couple of days later, um, we went for a Chinese, and my head started to itch, and it had, and then, like, like, just turned into swelling and that. Well, I had, like, an itchy head first, and then, like, when I got in, I looked, and it was, like, orangey, like, just, I don't know, like, cuts, and then it got bigger, and then the next day my face started to swell, and it went all around my ear. So basically it's got from here, going around, down, and then down here. Um, <clears throat> and then I swell in, and then one day, I think it was yesterday, yeah, I woke up and my whole eye was like that. And then I woke up today, and this one was shut, but the doctor told me to keep it open, so I'm like trying to keep them open. Yeah, I just look so different. My face is like really round like a plate, and my eyes are just swollen like a frog. Before my face was really bad, it's kind of calmed down a bit now and I was just thinking could it keep getting worse and like what would happen? Like it's really common so whatever could happen then they have to do something about it because where it's common like anyone could get it next and just die. Yeah. Just from hair dye. Like every person dyes their hair basically. Like at some point. Mm -hmm. So it could happen to quite a lot of people because everyone's dying their hair. I just can't believe that it's taken for this to happen for me. need to be aware of what this PDD is and, and to go onto the internet and start researching it and find that it's it's happening, it's so common and that nobody's doing anything about it. You know, had somebody done something about it, had somebody listened, my daughter maybe not have gone through what she's had to go through because, you know, as, as being a mother is hard enough as it is, you know, when they're ill and that. But for a mother to have to go through that and watch that and just not know what's going to happen you know, because it all just happened so fast. Well, it just started with her not feeling well, an itchy head, and then it went to the redness, and then I just couldn't believe the whole head, as if every pore in her head was oozing yellow pus. And it was it was disgusting. Her hair was like somebody had poured a pot of glue on it. You know, the first day I think she washed it about five times, and within 10, 50, it was just useless. There was no point in washing it. You know, she was just so poorly. You know, and, and to see her swell up like that and her face swell up the, the size that it did, you know, you just didn't recognise her. She looked like the elephant man. She looked like the pumpkin that was on the table, you know? I mean, when, when she was at her worst and, and the pain in her head, she couldn't even lay her head down, you know, I, I thought, you know, is her head going to explode? Because you just, you know, you're not advised as to how bad it can get or... And then when you read online that somebody has possibly recently died from this and people in America have died from it and that other countries have banned this PPD. I just can't believe that nobody's doing anything about it. Now, get it off the shelves now. Anything with that product in PPD is to take it off the shelves because next time she might not be so lucky as my daughter. You know, if I hadn't been...